So hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll cover this amazing lab. So first of all, click on Start Lab and open the console incognito window. Now, if you are completely new to this channel, do like the video and subscribe the channel. Now, let's get started. So basically, in this lab, we will be using Vertex CI. So let's get ready into it. Here, you have to just click on this I agree and then click on Agree and Continue. Then basically, you have to open the Vertex CI API and we have to enable it. How we'll do? Do not worry. Everything will be shown in this video. From here, just navigate to the Vertex CI and just click on the dashboard. And after that, you have to enable the API. Let me show you how you have to enable it. Uh, here, you have to just click on Enable All Recommended APIs. Just click on it and it will be enabled within few seconds. After that, you have to just open the Vertex CI Notebook. So let me show you how you have to open. From the left menu, you can see here. Okay, you can see here, you have to just scroll it. Okay, let me show you how you have to do. From the left menu, scroll down and here you can see workbench. Just click on it. And the first thing is that we'll reset the notebook because many of you are facing some kind of issues that file is not being shown over there. Do not worry, everything will be covered in this video. You have to just click on that. Now here you can see the Jupyter notebook is being loaded. Just click on this and reset it. And now wait for some time to take one to two minutes depending on the server. So after that, we'll just open the Jupyter lab. After 3 to 4 minutes, it will look like this. Here, basically, you have to just click on Open Jupyter Lab. And now the Jupyter Lab will open. Now, here, so if you get any kind of error a while, like the file is not being shown over here, or you get any kind of error that the Jupyter Lab is not responding, come back and just open the workbench again. Like we did previously, we have to do it. Now, just wait for it to get open. It will again take 1 to 2 minutes. Once it is open, you have to just open the terminal. Just open the terminal and in the description box of this video in the github section I have shared one github repository you have to just select it and just copy this one and one more important thing is that if you want to join our social channel you can just join it the telegram and instagram is live now here wait for at least one minute once you see the file is updated here you can see it's showing two hours ago once it changes to two seconds or even ten seconds you can see now you have to just open it we have modified the file carefully now here basically we have to just run it for the first shell we have to run and then we have to restart the kernel do not worry each and everything will be covered in this video how you have to run i will show you and basically we have to just use the play button to run the query first of all you can see the kernel is getting connected once it shows idle basically the circle is in empty state then you have to just click on this play button and just run it like this just click hitting the play button Till here okay now here you can see the kernel is just working it starts installing now we have to restart just run more again once more again and here a pop-up will come that the kernel died you have to just click on okay even if it is not getting okay basically even if it is not showing this kind of thing you have to just wait for the kernel to get idle once it is idle you have to just keep hitting this play button till the end okay just keep hitting this play button till the end and just wait it and if you are getting any error in particular task like task number one two or three then you have to just do one thing go to that particular task and run click on that shell and run it again or just run from the start just repeat this video okay so wait for this to get idle and then we'll move forward to the lab instructions and check the score Finally, here you can see all these things are completed. Now let's move to the lab instruction and check the score. And if you are unable to get the score in any particular task, just refresh the browser window and retry to check it. You can just navigate to that task also and check the score and you'll definitely get the score without any issue. Now do like the video and subscribe the channel guys. Thank you. Have a great day.